Hunting is my passion, and ungulates are what I fancy. They are both affordable to hunt and plentiful. In my hunting career, I'd had luck chasing whitetails, mule deer, elk, pronghorn, and caribou, so moose seemed like the next logical species to pursue. I'd been applying for moose for years in the northeast and out west with no luck drawing a tag. I explored my options, and hunting in the island of Newfoundland made the most sense. The animals are plentiful, and the hunts are the most affordable in North America. I knew some local hunters who had just gone on such a trip and had success. We decided to book the same outfitters they had used. In 2011, I called Annie Roberts of Roberts Outfitting, and we booked a hunt for the fall of 2013. Our hunting party consisted of six first-time moose hunters. The group included my Uncle Van, my brother Greg, our friend Travis, our cousin Eric, myself, and my wife. As the hunt drew near, I spent time preparing my gear, on the range and on the trail. Our travel plans were for five of us to drive 25 hours from northwest Ohio to the east end of Nova Scotia, where we would take an eight-hour ferry ride to Newfoundland. From there, we had a five-hour drive to Deer Lake. My wife chose to fly to Deer Lake to meet us, however, due to her demanding work schedule. Vessels. You need a video in there. The rest of you are out the door. <laughs>
farthest east I've ever been. The Clampets go to Newfoundland. <laughs> oh, look at that shape. It's a rocket, don't come a knocking. Oh. And there's the next mode of transportation. <laughs> this is kind of like a bowing off. <laughs> this is the camper after the trip back to the Argos. Waterfall by our place where we stopped. There's a bridge to go over with the Argo. And there's where we're parked at. I'm just waiting on everybody else. We need to show that he's filming anybody. Yeah, that's no good. You gotta be 18. Or 23. Definitely a new experience. Here's what we're after. Hold on. Let me get my gun. No. All right. No gun. <laughs> no, no. He's like, what? That's... We, didn't know. we just got into the camp. After about an hour Argo ride where we saw the bull that is previously recorded on this video. And the guy tells us that's a really good one. So that's what we're looking for. The camp is right on the lake. So we'll be taking boats to get over to hunt each morning. Our camp was located on the Angus Lake, which our outfitter called Rex Lake. We reached the camp by Argo on a newly constructed road. We had four guides for our hunting party of six. Each day, we simultaneously hunted four different drainages around the lake. Once we reached our drainage, we walked to a vantage point overlooking large boggy openings where our guides could perform a calling sequence and try to entice a willing bull. If we had no look at the first vantage point, most drainages offered a second vantage point further upstream, where we repeated the process. We typically reached the second vantage point by mid-morning and stayed for most of the day, hitting the lower vantage point on our way back to the boat. Each day we rotated the drainages we hunted. Here we are, day one. Getting ready to go for the first morning. Canadian Moose Hunt, 2013, Newfoundland. I'm ready. Just dropping off Amanda and Eric and her guide, and Art and myself are heading somewhere else. First morning.
month and the lack of moose at 5 o'clock in the afternoon, Eric is taking a little shot. Day two, huh? Day two. We all still have a pocket full of tags. Hopefully we can get something done today. Let's change that this morning, this afternoon. rock pile. Figure we get some black bear footage up on rock top or rock rock pile I guess it's called. Greg's headed up there today. Travis was up there yesterday with his bear tag, but uh, today's a whole new day. At least we're seeing stuff today. Seeing a bear, seeing a cow. There's Greg and Ray on top of rock pile. About 15 minutes after the bear walk through. Made a pretty rug. Second morning, doing a little calling. See if we can bring something in close. Day two of our Newfoundland 2013 moose hunt. It is October 1st, and I'll send out a happy birthday to my sister Kim. Uh, it is unseasonably warm, uh, about 20 degrees or a little bit more um, Celsius, which equates to about 70 in real temperature. And uh, because it's so warm, we have not seen a moose within range. We did see a cow this morning, but it was way too far away.
Lunch time on the second day. Back at the cabins for lunch. We're gonna try something different tonight because it's unseasonably warm here. And we didn't see much today. Did I hit him good? Uh -oh. I'm not sure. Definitely hit him though. I said you definitely hit him. I don't know if it's a holler there or if he fell down there. Yeah, I don't either. I don't either. I don't know. Yeah, right? Congratulations. You got a moose. <laughs> eight point cow. <laughs> eight, eight. Nice shot. <laughs> Congratulations. <Thank you. laughs> Come here, babe. <laughs> He's huge. Congratulations, your first moose. And the first one of the group that we know of. <laughs> yep, as far as we know. Good job. Congratulations, Amanda.
one. <laughs> Start of day three, raining outside, it's not light yet, hanging out in the cabin. Travis guys got his MD hat on. <laughs> My ears ain't getting wet this morning. That's not a knife. <laughs> this is a bad. Amanda's tagged out. First one in camp. Change the weather, change my hat, change my luck. That's right. Amanda's moose rack eight point bowl taken yesterday. We still have five tags to fill. Third afternoon, one back out. Clothes are all soaking wet. In the monsoon, try to find a moose. First moose of the hunt that we've spotted a cow. I'm trying to hang around and see if maybe there's a bull with her. Just grazing along. Morning number four. Just had breakfast. Waiting on the guides to get around. And we're gonna go out and kill something. Still only have one moose down. Four to go. Five to go. And hopefully a bear or two. Fourth morning, can't get to the high spot that we wanted because the fog's setting in. We can only see about a hundred yards each way, so we're going to do a little calling. Let's see if we can get something in close. Fourth morning of the hunt's over. It's foggy out here. We're waiting on the other guy to come and get us on the boat. I'm looking at the water right now, and it's so foggy he can't even find the shoreline. So we're trying to talk to him on the radio to see if we can get him here. Just not very good. There he turns his head, he's starting to walk off. He's as white as his ears. Well, today we are in the truck, which is very nice because it is really windy and chilly out, and everybody else is stuck on top of a mountain. We're trying to find a moose um, on the way to town and the way back to the camp from taking my moose in to be processed. So hopefully, we find something. Five and a quarter. He's coming this way. We have just called that small bull, and it looks like he's headed in this direction. Day five. I take total blame. Lake's too rough to go on the boat. So, uh, 
We're going for an Argo ride. Some of us are going for an Argo ride to road hunt. And the less fortunate ones are walking through the woods. We use the term road loosely. <laughs> it's like a mowed down path in the woods. <laughs> not even that, it's kind of mud. Some of it's not even mowed down. We have seen the blood of Travis's bull that he shot, but the videographer missed the actual shot, so we're tracking it. Lots of blood. And more blood. I think he's got a shot. Okay, so we are to the afternoon on the fifth evening. We once again cannot go down the lake because of the weather. We're gonna hunt here a little bit behind the cabin. It's been a pretty eventful day. I actually hit a very nice bull. We tracked it for a while with some fair amounts of blood, but in the end we could not find it. So I've had pity on myself all afternoon and probably will the rest of the trip. Unless I shoot something else. But we saw that bull, we saw three cows and a calf, so it was better than just the status quo that we've been seeing, which is nothing. All right, it's Saturday, last day of the hunt. Day six. We all gotta kill somebody, except for Amanda. Kill somebody. <laughs> or something. We got options. Ray, the guide said, last punch at the bag. Weather seems a tad better today, so we'll see where we can travel to this morning. It's brown, it's down. This is the guides bailing water out of the boat. That's how much rain we've got with five gallon buckets. And he's a good 10 minutes into this process and he's still bailing. Two, three. Whoa. Yeah. All kinds of stuff. Moose. Bear. Yeah. Good. Good luck, buddy. Good luck. All right now. Okay. Yeah. Well, maybe. Right on, man. <laughs> Hang on. I'll just make you turn a little bit. Come on. How was that? for a really long way but as of right now almost fingers crossed
Oh, I got that on camera. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh, sweetie, that was awesome. Thank you. That was something. Oh, that was awesome. Gage, you want to get in here for a couple? Sure. Could have done it without you. <laughs> okay, it's the last morning. We're up here on a place they call the outside. It took us about two hours to get here. It was quite a hike. I'm looking at a bald eagle on this perch over here. This is pretty cool. All kinds of shots fired this morning. Eric Tice has apparently shot a 10 or 12 point bull. Uh, the guys told us on the radio and his brother Greg has shot, had sounds like multiple attempts at some animals and hasn't been able to close the deal. So I'm gonna sit up here the rest of the day and see what we can find.
And away they go for trip number two. While I'm sitting here waiting for them to come back with trip number two, I'll give you a little bit of an update on what's been going on today. Uh, Greg had three and shot at the first one only once and missed. Shot at another one probably about seven times and unfortunately didn't get any, didn't hit that one either. Shot at a third one twice and once again came up empty. Uh, Eric has one and that's the one we're currently trying to carry back and forth. And Justin, who is guiding Van and Eric Roethlisberger, um, they have also taken one. So we don't know. Um, supposedly it's a 13 point. Um, we haven't yet to see it. So we'll hopefully get pictures of that and everything later on today. Here we are. We got a big, big bowl down. First shots, 400 yards, kill shot, 327. Now we're trying to make our way through hell to get to him. This is the bog. The shots were fired. A little luck to be sitting right down here. Jesus, I thought you'd have more weight than that. The old bull moose that is. See? Really old moose that is. That dog. That's some thick hide. Yep. Really thick up there. Now I'm starting to get tired. Right. <laughs> what? You've only gone up the mountain three times. Well, ain't much of a mountain, but yeah. And it's off to the boat we go. Here's today's haul, last day. The two on the ends are the ones that were shot today. Amanda got hers on Tuesday. A much better day today. The bulls were moving. After five days of hunting, we began our long journey home. The hunt was a mixed bag for the group. The location and experience were outstanding, and the game animals were bountiful in the area. However, the hunting was slow due to the weather, and we failed to capitalize on a few opportunities. Regardless, it was the trip of a lifetime and we will never forget the memories.